Hello once again our most developed student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek into my personal experiences. This is a channel designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this lesson we are continuing with the ultimate guide uh, in, in mathematics for you grade 11th and we say the topic that we're looking at for term one remember we are focusing only on term one work it is going to be the following and we've just discussed it in the previous lesson so you can take note of it here and then if it's actually something different from what you guys are doing just give me a shout and then explain to me that it is actually different now let's come back to this uh activity that i've been doing these are revision on exponents as i said already you guys have been dealing with some laws of exponents especially from grade um from grade 10 so let's look at the question and the question that i said let me pause it it was question number 1.2 we already looked at 1.1 and 1.3 so if you haven't done that i encourage you it means you have you have missed a video but let's look at this question uh, here and then to say if I can actually make this bigger so that we can take it from here to say equal to look at this it mustn't just uh, uh, scare you in a way but this question I can take from for example from inside we are going from inside out you see from inside out you know so we start with this one so it will be i'll just make the markings uh in different color so you have got that x to the power of half you see it's got a square root so this has a square root which is inside a square root which is inside a square root are you, are you seeing that so let's do that so it's x to the power of half and then what about let me use uh the yellow one if i do this one but remember there is also that x so it will be x remember it's multiplying and then that particular x is having a what a square root and then if i then have this x with a square root so again it will be x dot with what with power half and then outside uh, now in space and we do this and then outside we've got that so let me use maybe my white like this this is what we have you see that so now how do you go about this as i say that uh, is better to start from inside going out i think that so you start with this one so example is x Remember the hidden power there is power 1. So if you look at the same basis, you are using here throughout, you'll be using the law a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. That's what we are using in this law. When the base are the same, what we do? We add the exponents. So if that is going to be the law that I'm using, in the first part, I'm going to say x to the power one plus a half but because i want to save time here one plus a half is one and a half which is if you use a calculator is three over two so you can just test that with your calculator to say what is one plus a half it will give you what it will give you uh with your calculator three over two half plus one is 3 over 2 right so you have got x to the power 3 over 2 right so you have done that the inside but there's this black there's this power which is to the power half and then you've got that power which is so you've got that power with this x which is this x and in that particular x you also have this part to the power half and then you've got x so there were four it was one x one two three four so i've added now there are three and then after that 
you have the law which says when I'm looking at this it says if I give you a to the power of m times n it's a to the power of m times n remember that so I'm using I'm going to use that law there so it is equal to uh, maintain this it is equal to x bracket I've got x and then in here I'm gonna open that bracket so let me just um, remember I'm starting from inside out so if I started from inside so that I don't confuse myself from inside it was going to be x to the power 3 over 2 as I said it's 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 that's what I'm doing but I'm going to write the final answer you can see it's 3 over 4 here so it's x to the power 3 over 4 right and then after that I have got now I'm done with this bracket guys this bracket is off this one it's off and how many what is left it's now the outside bracket multiplying so what I'm going to have will be what my x multiplying this which is to the power what power half and then I've got the x outside are you seeing that so I've got this bracket is gone it gave me 3 over 4 times remember so it's whatever I had here times this x which is this x are you seeing that and then I've got of course the outside x and that so equal to there is a power 1 it's 1 plus 3 over 4 so if you add 1 plus 3 over 4 again you change that um, it's more like you're repeating the previous stage so it will be um, x here x bracket so we are adding that which is x to the power remember it's multiplying same basis which is 1 plus 3 over 4 but I'm going to write the final answer to this which is 1 and 3 over 4 and 1 and 3 over 4 is what is 7 over 4 1 plus 3 over 4 it will give you 7 of 7 over 4 so I've got 7 over 4 bracket what do I have here I've got a uh, power half are you seeing that and then same thing which is equal to now it will be x dot remember I'm still going to multiply again this which is 7 which is 7 over 4 times 1 over 2 which is 7 over 8 I see that so it's going to be x times and then I'll multiply that to say x to the power 7 over 8 right now I think you see where I was making an error there is the bottom I did not consider the bottom so here I was looking at the top is fine now if um, you 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 can actually say here uh, consider the numerator right and then after that you can say therefore therefore you can now write the whole thing now to say that x to the power square root of x which is the square root of x which is the square root of x over and then you say eighth root of x to the power seven you'll see why i'm doing that is equal to then you take the top here which is x dot x to the power 7 over 8 over now 8 root of 7 if you still remember what I said previously if they give me a square root is equal to bracket 1 over 2 if they give me 8 root it is a bracket what 1 over 8 because why there is a hidden 2 there that's why it's half if they give me fourth root it will be bracket 1 over 4 I think that so here since they gave me that uh, eighth root so it is equal to bracket x to the power of 7 
and then 1 over 8 which is equal to so it's 7 over 1 there so we are multiplying 7 times 1 over 8 which is 7 over 1 which is 7 over 8 now that's what you're having so if you simplify that it will be x dot x to the power of 7 over 8 over x to the power of 7 over 8 which is equal to then it's up to you what to do here at 7 over 8 7 over 8 you can cancel that the answer symbol becomes x or if you wanted to use the law of exponents here on these two you can then say x to the power of dot x and then you've got 7 over 8 minus 7 over 8 remember when it goes to the top it becomes a negative or there are many ways you could have done or someone will come and say um but i want to add this first two so you could have said x to the power of one plus seven over eight it's just that i saw seven over eight and automatically i just want to simplify that you can do that but still look if i take that to the top it would have been still minus 7 over 8. Even if you added this first, then separate later, it was still going to give you the same answer. The answer still will give you x. But you can test this quickly. How do you test this? Let's, let's assume. Let me take to the top. Let's assume. Remember the answer is x. Let's assume. Or oh, just say here. Let x be equal to what? Let's choose any number at random. Choose any number at random. Let's x be equal to 15. Say let x be equal to 15 we are testing our answer now just to see if ever we did the right thing let x be equal to 15 so what you have you've got that which is 15 square root of 15 square root uh, square root of 15 square root of 15 it was like that four of them over play for what over 8th root which is shift and we need that one which is 8th root of x is 15 to the exponent 7 let's say that equal to you see i'm getting 15 as an answer i'm getting that x so if x is equal to 15 the answer there will be 15 that's why here the answer still remains as x are you getting that so if since x is equal to 15 even here i will get 15 which matches that answer so that is how you can simplify that they can bring in yes a bit of challenging questions like these but it is your duty to look at them carefully and see how you can approach them we have come to the end of our lesson join me again in the next one there is another trickier one that i had to choose from and i always say is say number two simplify without a calculator this is standard 2.2 is the one that is a bit tricky square root of x plus square root of 2x minus 1 times square root of x minus squ uh, square root of uh, 2x minus 1 what do you think what do you think is formats and then this one 2.1 if you check it it's similar to the one i'm just bringing it to you it's similar to 1.3 look at 1.3 you see 1.3 so i will encourage you grab a um a, your book and pen try them out for me and then get your answers let's compare our answers with the next lesson so please do the, do this for me let's call it our homework okay so if you watched video the first video this means i'm um, in the previous video then uh this will be the homework and the answers are in the next video so check out the next video we've come to the end of our lesson thank you